सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास फोर इन टाइटल्ड लुकिंग अराउंड दिस इज द चैप्टर टेन हुतुतु हुतुतु फ्रॉम पेज सेवेंटी सेवन टू पेज एटी थ्री पेज सेवेंटी सेवन On top of the page we have a picture of few girls playing kabaddi huttutu 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 out out all the girls on one side shouted loudly huttutu 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 hold from here huttutu huttutu hold from the leg the leg the leg hold her leg huttutu huttutu basudha you come here you hold her from here hey make sure that shamala's hand does not touch the line hold her hand huttutu huttutu oh she has touched she has touched it out 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 all out ho 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 your team is all out page 78 on top of the page we have a picture of few girls holding one girl who is on the floor and trying to touch the line below the picture the text continues what are these girls doing they are shouting out 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 it is clear that they are playing a game what do you call this game chaddu guddu huttutu chukit cat hadudu or kabaddi or something else when six girls surrounded shamala and caught her everyone thought that she was out somebody caught her legs and somebody her arms while one girl caught her by the waist but shamla was not the one to give up she dragged herself and managed to touch the line in the center when shamla touched the line all the girls of the opposite team were holding her so all of them got out but rosy argued that shamla had taken a breath in between so the team was not out shamla insisted that this was not true she said that if she had taken a breath why did the girls keep holding her there was a big argument finally shamla won for the teacher using this game bring children's attention to this point that we make rules in our lives the way we do in games so that things can be done in a proper manner we have differences and fights among ourselves and we do resolve them page 79 question when you play kabaddi How many players do you have in a team? Dash. Question. How many players got out when Shamla touched the line? Dash. Question. Do you have ways to resolve disputes in games? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. The game of kabaddi. So. This is what a game of kabaddi is like pushing and pulling screaming and shouting dragging and falling on the ground it is a rough game yet it has many rules it is lots of fun and lots of exercise holding your breath while running and continuously saying kabaddi kabaddi and also trying to touch the players of the opposite team so many things to do in kabaddi 
You can do this as long as you can hold your breath. You need to use both your body and mind in this game. You have to use your strength to pull or stop the players. At the same time, you have to think about how to enter the other side. You have to decide whom to touch quickly and come back. If you get caught, then how do you reach the line in the center? For the teacher, you can organize a discussion on the topic that in games also, many a times the children experience discrimination on the basis of gender, caste and class. Page 80 There is a yellow box on the page with some blue text. These are some questions. Question 1 Try to hold your breath and keep saying Kabaddi Kabaddi. How many times could you say it? Question. How many times can you say it while you are playing Kabaddi? Is there any difference? Next time when you play Kabaddi, focus your attention on your legs, arms and eyes. You will notice that good coordination is required between eyes, legs and arms. Question. Make a picture in your notebook to show how Shyamala managed to get the entire opposing team out in one go. Question. What does it mean to be out in games? When does one get out in Kabaddi? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. In some games, it is very important to touch the player. For example, in the game of Coco, you get out when someone touches you. You also get your turn by someone's touch. Name some games in which it is very important to touch the players. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Question. In Kabaddi, the entire team was out because Shamla had touched the line. What are some other games in which the central line is very important? Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Question. What are the games in which, besides the players, you have to touch some things or colors? Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. For the teacher. The activity given above in the box should be done only under the teacher's or elder's supervision. Page 81 Do you play Kabaddi? Is there a girls' Kabaddi team in your school? Do you think that your grandmother played Kabaddi when they were your age? Ask them. On the corner of this page there is a pink box with some blue text. Do girls in your area play Kabaddi or any other outdoor game? If there are girls who do not play, then what are the reasons for them not playing? Discuss. Below this text, there is a yellow box with some text and a picture. The picture is of a female sportsperson who has won a medal and is celebrating her victory. The text describes about her. Karnam Malleshwari Have you seen or read about her in the newspapers? Karnam Malleshwari is a weight lifter. She lives in Andhra Pradesh. Her father is a police constable. Malleshwari started lifting weights when she was 12 years old. Now she can lift a weight of 130 kilograms. Karnam has won 29 medals in international events. Her four sisters also practice weight lifting. A story of three sisters. Look at this photograph. Don't they look like simple grandmothers? But they are different. On the bottom of the page, we have a photograph of three ladies. The text around them describes the picture. 
the picture is of the three sisters, Jwala, Leela and Hira. They live in Mumbai. All three of them played Kabaddi and taught the game to others. Jwala tells, When we were young, girls were not allowed to play this game. People thought that if girls played such rough games, nobody would marry them. They also said that the girls had to wear boys' clothes to play kabaddi. For the teacher, help children find out the sportspersons who won medals in Olympic Games. Page 82 That is why they stopped girls from playing. The sisters were young when their father died. Their mother and mamas, that is, maternal uncles, brought them up. Both uncles used to play kabaddi and koko. They encouraged the three girls to play kabaddi. Jwala and Leela talk about their experiences. Almost fifty years ago, when we started to play kabaddi, girls never got a chance to play this game. Parents did not let them play the game. But we always felt that we should play, and my uncles and mother supported us. We three learned the game, and some other girls also joined us. We formed a kabaddi club which is active even today. Remembering those days. Leela and Hira still get very excited when they talk about their matches. They tell how they won some matches which they were about to lose. This was possible because of their strong will. During those matches, some very interesting things happened. Once they had to go to a different town for a big match. Leela tells, The match had to start at 6.30 in the evening. We went to see a movie from 3 to 6 o'clock. We thought we would be back in time for the match. As soon as the movie started, we noticed some noise and disturbance. It was created by our mama who was looking for us in the hall with a torch. When he found us, he gave a big scolding right there in the cinema hall. For the teacher, use these examples to draw children's attention to the reality that many times girls do not get equal opportunities in games. Ask children what they call their maternal uncle. Page 83. The sisters had to face many difficulties because of Kabaddi, but that did not reduce their fun. Hira, the youngest sister, became a Kabaddi coach. She wishes that children like you should enjoy and play many games, especially Kabaddi. Question. Have you learned any game from a coach? Which one? Dash. Question. Do you know of anyone who has learned any game from a coach? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Discuss. Question. How does a coach teach? How does a coach make a player practice? How hard do you think the players have to work? Question. Have you ever thought of making a club for your favorite game? Question. Imagine that there are 15 children to play Coco. They must form two teams with equal numbers, seven each. Then one player will be left. What will you do if this happens? Have you ever become the extra person in the middle? Write about this. Question. Every game has some rules. The game is played according to those rules. 
Let us see what happens if the rules are changed. For example, in cricket, a batsman gets out if the bales fall off the stumps. Imagine if there is a rule that the entire team will be out if all the three stumps fall. Would it be fun? Question. Try and play the game with this rule. Similarly, make some rules for other games and play. The Chapter 10 of Total 27 Chapters of the Book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India